three things God always does to a narcissist. It may look like the narcissist is doing better without you. You're suffering. And no one is there to support you. While the narcissist is manipulating all of their unsuspecting enablers and flying monkeys. And if you are a believer in God, this may be very confusing. You may be wondering how this is even possible. You may be wondering how God could allow the narcissist to treat you this way. And how God could just let them get away with it. When in actuality, God is not letting them get away with it. God is doing something to the narcissist. Because as we know, narcissism is very dangerous behavior. And God has warned us against these behaviors in every religion. Where people are only concerned with their own wants and needs and they never consider other people. Because they're too preoccupied with promoting and admiring themselves. So here are three things God always does to a narcissist. One, God will give the narcissist free will. God has given all of us free will. We all have the power to act and make decisions, independent of any outside influence. And the narcissist has chosen to use their free will to be concerned predominantly with their own personal profit or pleasure, which will only become the source of their distress and discomfort. Because God has advised us to have a modest or low view of our importance. And to hold other people as being more important than ourselves. Which is not interesting to the narcissist. But this is why they're always miserable. Because one of the most beneficial things we can do for ourselves. Is to give up our own interests or wishes. In order to help other people and to advance a cause. As long as you love God and you love other people, you will experience a life filled with joy. Because giving connects you to God. While constantly receiving is what causes us to disconnect. So the narcissist will never experience true happiness or joy. Because that comes from engaging in a helpful activity that assists other people. While the narcissist is only concerned with manipulating other people to serve themselves. Which is why they can never be satisfied. Because they have a void that can never be filled. So they end up taking more and more. And giving less and less. Which only amplifies their own misery. Two, God will let the narcissist betray you and other people. God will let the narcissist break their promises and be disloyal to you and disappoint your hopes and expectations until they end up burning their bridges where they have destroyed all possible ways of going back to previous situations so now they're forced to continue with a particular course of action where they will experience sadness because they've done harmful things to people who trusted them and often to the very people who cared for them and were helping them. So even though they may not be alone, they are lonely. They've outstayed their welcome with good people like ourselves because we know that even if we gave them another chance, they would just do the same thing all over again. They would manipulate and exploit us.
so we're not going to put ourselves in that same position to be used. Which means that the narcissist will just end up with other fake people. People who are just like themselves. People who can't do anything for them. All they can do is assist them in manipulating other people and into displaying this illusion because they cause differences and disagreements they produce conflict and tension they created obstacles and hindered our progress so now all we can do is avoid them because we know that they're self-seeking and self-serving they're acting for their own advantage they're serving their own interests in disregard of the truth while using charm and insincere praise at the expense of those who may be naive. Three, God will expose the narcissist. When narcissists do what they do, they are mocking God as though God does not have any power to correct them when really God has just given them time to express regret and remorse because eventually they will be punished God will expose them to you through their behaviours as a warning for you to not follow in their path so that you will think of other people before yourself and then you can live a life filled with joy Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash not survivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's not survivor the code UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.